Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel, my D1D2 Scientific Academy. Today our lecture is related to chapter 8, which is congruence and similarity. Your book is new, Slavus Mathematics 2, and it's called D2 Math, O-Level Mathematics. Alright, students, so I'm going to explain you practice now 5 and 6 again. Okay. So before starting the lecture, I request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe my channel. Okay, students, in practice now five uh, in part A, two figures are given A, B, C, and P, Q, R, and they are asking that is A triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle P, Q, R? Explain your answer. Now we have to find out that whether these two figures are similar, whether these two triangles are similar or not. Students, remember that two figures are similar if it, they have exactly the same shape but not necessarily the same size it means that their corresponding angles are equal two figures are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and the second thing is ratio of the sides of both figures are equal or corresponding sides are equal or we can say that ratio of corresponding side ratios of corresponding size of corresponding sides are equal so when these two conditions fulfill we say that uh, the figures are similar here you can see that in part the angles are given so we have to find out this that whether corresponding all corresponding angles are equal or not if all corresponding angles are equal so it means that these two figures are similar but if all corresponding angles are not equal then these two figures are not similar so here uh, let's find out the corresponding side angles first okay so what is the corresponding angle of a so corresponding angle of a is p this is the corresponding sign okay gee. and angle b is corresponding to q and angle C is corresponding to R. So let's find out. A is 50. A, okay, let's find out the missing angle here. You know that angle C is missing. So this means that the straight line means that the angle over here is 90 degree. Whenever there is a straight line, so it means that the angle is of 90 degree and it's a right angle. So let's say that this is 90 degree. Now if we know two angles of a triangle, we can find out the third angle of a triangle by using the property which is called sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So here I'm going to use the property to find out this third angle. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Sum of angles. So the property is sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. This is the property of a triangle. So here I'm going to write down the angle A is 58 degree. Angle B is 90 degree. And so we have to find out angle C. Now add up 90 and 58, so what should we get? 90, 100, 148. It will be 148. straight line so this is a right angle it is of 90 degree and the third angle is p is equal to 180 degree i am using the same property that sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree so i am going to find out angle p so i will add 19 35 so i will get 125 degree plus angle p is equal to 180 degree so we have to find out find out angle p so 125 is adding over here if we go to that side it will subtract 
Okay, so when I subtract 125 from 180, I will get minus 125. So I will get 55 degree. So here we have found the missing angles of the both triangles. Now see that whether the corresponding angles are equal or not. Here uh, you can see that angle A is corresponding to angle B. So angle A, okay, I'm going to erase it so that I can write uh, down the left over process. Angle A is corresponding to angle B. So here it is 58 and here it is 55 degree. So angle A is not equal to angle B. So in the same way, angle B is corresponding to angle Q. So angle B is corresponding to angle Q. So B is 90 degree and Q is 90 degree. Okay, so angle B is equal to angle Q. Now angle C is corresponding to angle R. So angle C, here you can see that C is 32 degree and R is 35 degree. So 32 is not equal to 35. So angle C is not equal to angle R. So here you can see that two corresponding angles are not equal. And as it was the condition that two figures are similar if all the corresponding angles are equal. Here two angles are not equal. So it means that the figure to the triangle ABC, the triangle ABC is not similar. Is not similar to triangle PQR. So this is your answer. These are not similar figures. Okay, so I hope that part A is clear to you. Okay, now let's move forward to part B. Okay, in part B, the sides are given. So, okay, best friends, whenever the angles are given, we have to find out the missing angles to find out whether the figures are similar or not. But if the sides are given, what we need to do is we have to find out the corresponding, we have to find out the ratios of the corresponding sides. Okay, so, so in fact it's now 5 in part B as you can see that these two figures are the triangles so the colors we have to, as the sides are given so we have to find out the ratios of the corresponding sides. So the corresponding sides are the corresponding side of ST is DE, the corresponding side of ST is DE and the corresponding side of TU, the corresponding side of TU is EF and the same way the corresponding side of SU is and df okay s u is df so these are the corresponding sides so now we are going to find out the ratios to find out that uh, to find out that whether the figures are similar or not so now i'm going to find out the ratios as these two are the corresponding sides so i'll find their ratios st over de now i write down the measurements the measurement of st is 10 and the measurement of de is mm, the 12 Okay, when I will cut it to 5s are 10 to 6 are 12. So I will get 5 over 6, 5 ratio 6. Okay, in the same way the corresponding side of TU is EF. So I will divide TU with EF to find out its ratio. TU over EF. So TU is um, 7. And uh, EF is 8.4. Okay, so here you can see that there is a point so I can solve it or I can divide it. Okay, you can divide it on the calculator or you can solve it as if I'm skipping the points, so I will get 10 in the numerator because I have skipped the point. So I got 7 times are 70 over 84. Okay, gee. so now I can cut it or uh, then I will divide it. So when I divide 70 with 84, I will get 5 over 6. You can cut it with a table of 2. When you will cut it with a table of 2, you will get 5 over 6. In the same way, now the third ratio is um, the third uh, corresponding sides are SU and DF. So we will find out their ratio SU over DF. The measurement of SU is 6 and the measurement of DF is 7.2. Okay, the same way, I will skip the point and I will get 10. In the numerator, I will get 60 over 72. When I will cut it with a table of 2, I will get 5 over 6. So, students, here you can see that all three sides are equal. All corresponding sides are the ratios of all corresponding sides are equal. This is 5.6, this is 5.6, and this is 5.6. So, it means that as the ratios uh, of the corresponding sides are equal, it means that the figures are similar. So, I will write down the triangle DEF is similar. To triangle STU. So this is your answer. So as I hope that this question is clear to you. Do the practice of this. Uh, this practice now five is clear to you. Do the practice of this sum. 
and as you will do the practice and this concept will be more clear to you take very good care of yourself thank you very much and allah hafiz